What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I will be talking about the mixer again. On our agenda today, we have the second half of the dynamic section, which is the gate. And in the background, you hear about six Tom tracks I pulled from one of my college assignments. So I wouldn't get hit with copyright strikes. Didn't want to use anything too familiar. So this is literally just a drummer playing drums. Having at it. So a gate is the opposite of a compressor. So it attenuates signals below a set threshold. In other words, a gate increases dynamic range, whereas a compressor decreases dynamic range. So a gate can be used to reduce microphone bleeding. In the examples below, I have toms. And if I play this track, we hear the hi-hat, the kick, the cymbal, and we hear the tom that one time. So I can use this gate to get rid of all of the bleeding, or a lot of it. So, of course, this is the on button. On, off, on, off, okay. And next we have the range. The range goes from zero decibels to negative 40 decibels. Command click to get it back to the default value. This is the expander button. So when you turn this, when you click on it, it's gonna turn the expander on. So this, by clicking on it, changes this dynamic section from gate mode to expanding mode. So keep that in mind. If this isn't on, sorry, if this one isn't on, you will not be, you will not be in expander mode. This is the threshold. This sets the level at which the gate opens or closes. So once again, signals below the threshold are gated. When the level exceeds the threshold, the gate opens. So this meter is gonna tell us how much reduction is happening. And we see in this case, we hear a lot less of the background noise and more of the tom secluded, isolated. So this increased the dynamic range by turning down the background, reducing the background noise and making the tom more isolated and present. The next control we have is the release. This is gonna tell us how long it takes for the gate to close after it opens. Hundred milliseconds on the release, a thousand milliseconds on the release. So once again, this is the time it takes for the gate to close completely after it is open. I would go for a longer release so that we can get the tail of this tom and it doesn't cut it off too abruptly and sound too unnatural. Without getting too much of the hi-hats in it. So about there. The next parameter is the fast button. This is going to change the attack to, well, fast. So normally, the attack of this gate is going to be 1.5 milliseconds per 40 decibels. When you enable this button, 
it changes to 100 microseconds per 40 decibels. The last parameter on the gate is this hold knob. Hold determines the time the gate stays open after falling below the threshold. So this happens before the release. Once again, this happens before the release. So it would be fast attack button or attack in general even if you don't have it on and then hold and then release. So let's see what this sounds like. I'm actually going to loop around somewhere where the toms are more prominent about here. So hold goes from zero milliseconds to 4,000. And you hear we get a lot of bleed because it is staying open for too long. Cool. So we just covered all of the parameters of the second half of the dynamic section, which is the gate and expander. So I'm just going to reiterate what the gate and the expander are and the differences between them, if I didn't explain them well enough. The difference between a gate and expander. A gate will mute the signal or get pretty close to it. As you see, the range here is zero to negative 40, negative zero to negative four, as we said before. So the expander still allows a small amount of the signal to come through. So this is the gate. This is the expander. We can hear that the background noise got louder with the expander. That's because it's still letting some of it through. The gate is really close to muting, but in the case of this specific mixer channel that is embedded in Reason, the gate does not fully mute the signal. It is still very much audible. I can hear it. It doesn't show here, but I can definitely hear it in my headphones. So if you like this video, give it a like comment subscribe most definitely let me know what you would like to see next follow me on instagram twitter at july 303 it is right there up at the top and it's all culture kickback and cook up